day after violence marred the panchayat elections in the state leaving at least 12 people dead there is no answer that's come out on who is responsible for these deaths remember what happened yesterday and those visuals really clearly speaking for themselves on how voters were intimidated arms were openly brandished political activists were beaten up during the polls the uh, incident in fact unfolded and this kind of violence was witnessed despite central forces being deployed in the Rajiv Sinha accused the central forces for the violence, saying there was a delay in their deployment. Uh, the BSF, of course, has said that the State Election Commission did not provide any information on the sensitive areas, on the sensitive booths. The central forces also said that despite repeated requests, they were only given details of the number of sensitive booths, not the location of these booths, and that's perhaps a reason on why this was allowed to take place. As the Panchayat elections of 2023 in West Bengal comes to an end, we have seen reports from across the state of West Bengal, reports of violence pouring in. Right now, I am being joined by uh, DIG BSF. Uh, sir, first of all, uh, what was uh, you know the problem regarding the deployment of central forces? Because we are seeing uh, then and again, uh, you know, there has been a lot of political uh, issues regarding this. At, at the same time, in, in spite of central forces being uh, deployed on the ground, uh, uh, various reports of violence have come in. You have also written a letter stating that you were not properly informed and therefore as a result the violence have taken place. Yeah, it is true that uh, violence has taken place uh, uh, in certain areas. But uh, let me uh, confirm that wherever violence has taken place, those polling booths were not manned by the central armed police forces or the state armed police forces which have been uh, uh, brought from outside for conduct of a fair and uh, impartial election. Uh, wherever we have been deployed, uh, there uh, we have been successful in conducting the election in a very uh, uh, fair and uh, Im impartial uh, manner. Yes, at certain two or three polling booth, uh, the miscreants they try to create problem. Uh, but uh, those problems were uh, handled in a very very professional manner by our uh, troops. Now, as far as you know, the deployment of uh, the Central Armed Police Forces is concerned, uh, it has to be done, you know, with a consultation with the state authority, especially. Well, another update coming in. Post-poll violence also continues in West Bengal. We're picking up information coming in on the same from Murshidabad district. So post-poll violence has taken place in Murshidabad district. And those are the visuals that we've managed to access from Murshidabad in West Bengal. Now, remember, this was a tense area all through yesterday as well. But Shreya is joining us with more details on what's transpired today. We're being told that bombs have been hurled in Murshidabad. Shreya, tell us more. So the visual you are seeing right now, it is from Chunshahar village of uh, Murshidabad. Now remember, Murshidabad was also a hotspot, you know, even yesterday and before that since, you know, the election was declared. Now what is happening right there is that independent candidates' houses, you know, were being attacked. Now West Bengal is a place, is a state which have a history of pre-poll violence, violence on the day of election and post-poll violence as well. We are seeing just likewise because, uh, you know, we have seen violence just before the election and on the day of election it was absolutely a bloodbath and, you know, the law and order situation of the entire state is in question right now. All right. A uh, lot of questions being asked with regards to the law and order situation because there are concerns still given that violence is still being witnessed. Yeah, we'll continue to come to you to get the latest on what really is transpiring. Remember, the Calcutta High Court has that's why requested uh, for the central forces to remain deployed for the next 10 days. Let's see how it plays out. A quick break for now. We'll return with more news on the other side.